Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your money, career, finance, focus reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Taurus. Taurus, please keep in mind that this is your group general reading, the money, career, finance, focus reading. So please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading, a live reading, a Zoom reading or a recorded reading, you can connect with me on the email ID mentioned in the description box below. And all personal private reading are paid processes, please connect with me with that understanding, I really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Angels and spirits, messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising, money, career, finances, take time to breathe out. You need to give yourself some time, some rest, some rejuvenation. Have faith in your dreams, Taurus. And your other message is the end of a tough cycle approaches. That's a very, very fabulous kind of reading. So many confirmations through your monology. Let me now see what messages do we have from Tarot. The messages from Tarot. And my dear Taurus people out there, money, career and finances, you have Page of Swords. You have Three of Cups, a celebration time is ahead. And you have Two of Cups, amazing. A lot of presence of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energies into your reading. Let us also see the messages from Goddesses of Oracle. Goddesses of Oracle. You have the Unconditional Love Taurus. You have Be Strong. And you have Be Bold. Okay, I'm going to pull the Angel of Abundance and the Magic Making Money deck just in a while. Now, you have worked very, very hard, but it seems, Taurus, that you have not got the kind of result, the outcome you were expecting, or the kind of efforts you were putting into something. So the angels are telling that you need to give time and space to yourself and to the divine because what you need is definitely going to come to you, but, a, but on its own divine timing. There are a few cycles which are going to end. Because the full moon in Capricorn confirms here that there is an end of a tough cycle. There is an end to the long procrastinated delays. There is an end to a challenge to obstacle which was actually creating a lot of blockages and delays in your life, in your professional life. So be ready that the end of the tough cycle is getting approached in the month of January. What you are supposed to do during this time, just keep up the faith. Just keep up the faith in your divine, in your dreams, in your targets, in your goals. And with time, you will definitely see things are going to fall soon into your favor. Now, if I see your tarot reading, you do have a beautiful page out there. Now, page is definitely a message in the reading. So you will be receiving the most relevant message, phone call, email for sure, which will be absolutely related to your profession, to your career, to your job. And the beauty of your reading is that you do have the angel number three and two. It's a sequence out there. And three is a card of celebration. Three is a card that there will be a good news you will be receiving in the month of January and that news will call for a celebration. I am sensing a lot of you, you will get a job of your choice, a project of your choice, a location of your choice, work of your choice and you will see that your dreams are taking a complete shape. You will witness that in reality it is happening for you and it is wonderfully being followed by two of cups which says that there could be a possible collaboration partnership joint venture wherein two people were liking each other two you know the two uh, uh, organizations you or maybe somebody else for you with whom you have worked or a new collaboration 
people are aware you will be working in collaboration in partnership with somebody who is known to you both of you like each other and there were talks going on but finally because of your caliber and the character and the personality both of you decides to work together and that is going to be a very very fruitful partnership for you in the overall situation if i see the message from mary says love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outward appearance may be try to ensure that whatever is your passion whatever you really love to do or you are putting all your energies into that that is something which is really going to help you out during this time it also tells you to be strong it says you are stronger than you think keep up the courage keep up the patience in your hand because you are very very strong the more you think you are not in reality it is vice versa you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome so keep on doing your regular work keep on doing your duties responsibilities and you will see a change is though coming very very soon you need to have all the bold and courage with yourself you need to take a calculated risk just keep on working just do your planning and strategizing on pen and paper and have multiple plans ready for a for a backup but you have to take a calculated risk in case you really want to succeed further it says unleash your adventurous side take risk and be daring unleash your true potential unleash what is your true passion in life and that is really going to give you the best of success in your professional life now before i move on i would definitely like to see the meaning of angel number 32 for you the message related to that it says the ascender master jesus reminds you to apply his affirmation about the power of faith with faith all things are possible to your own life right now and that's the message you have in waxing crescent moon out there when the monology message was absolutely clear people have faith in your dreams because only dreams are going to be possible if you see dreams if you have faith in those dreams that's a very very clear message for you now let us see what angel of abundance message do we have for the taurus people out there and there are so many flyers out there today the unlimited idea says your mind is one with god's infinite mind therefore you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings all you need to do is to take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition it's time to unleash your potential your passion area let go of guilt when you allow your light to shine brightly you inspire others forgive yourself for what you think you have done or not done and trust that god loves you unconditionally for who you are learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them and your other flyer is do the work it's not enough to dream or pray that is what i was telling you that dream needs implementation dreams need action you need to work on your planning you need to work on your strategy you need to put that hard work that smart work you need to do the work and only mere planning is or praying is not just going to help you out it says it's not enough to dream or just pray you have also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden that's a very strong message for you and let us see what message do we have from magic making money deck message from magic making money deck oh my god your cards are just flying up pulling out like that let me shuffle it again properly and we have the goddesses healing feminine energy now there is definitely healing which is coming into your reading time and again you need healing against any kind of guilt you feel you need healing against any kind of you feel you are getting suffocated you are not giving time space energy to yourself 
I do feel that the overall money, career, financial aspects, and even your mind, body, and soul definitely needs a lot of healing energy. Now, when I say healing energy, you can call Archangel Michael to clear all negativity, blockages, and challenges coming in your way of success. And you can even call Archangel Raphael to heal you, heal your heart, and allow any emotional pain, hurt, guilt, fear to just vanish and replace it with compassion, passion, love and affection. That was a truly divinely guided reading for you Taurus. Do let me know how you resonated with it. I have already uploaded the yearly reading, the general group reading for the sun, moon, rising sign for all sun signs and I have also uploaded the money readings for all the 12 signs. I have also uploaded the birthday readings uh, from I think from 1 to number 5 and soon I will be doing the reading for number 6, 7, 8 and 9. And this is your reading. Do let me know. Have a look at the other readings whenever it is convenient to you and I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.